Hello, hello, how are you today? Jamie Haggett here coming to you live. I am actually in Carthage, New York. Um, and today, it's still a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to have a beautiful day, am I right? So today I just wanted to give you a quick um, DIY tutorial on how to make your own Thieves cleaning wipes. Now I say thieves cleaning wipes because that is the number one ingredient that I use. Um, and honestly, I believe that you should be using it as well. It is a uh, non-toxic, non-chemical cleaner. And it does the best job I can think of, of anything to get the house clean. Um, and these wipes, honestly, they're great to have to just do a quick wipe up. Yes, you can use a spray bottle with your spray cleaner and paper towels, but having the wipes is just handy. So um, let's jump right in. Now number one, you're gonna need a container, okay? Now um, a few years back when I got started with these, um, a bunch of us got some of these. Now it's called an Omni Wipe container, and I'm not sure if you can still get them, but if you can, it's this cool container um, that when it's shut, oh, all right, so when it's shut, let me, get, well, let me open it first, okay. So I'm gonna take the top off. It's a little bucket, okay? The lid has a hole that you pull your paper towels out of. And when it's shut, the lid actually comes right up and closes nice and tight and it's got a handle, so perfect. But, I understand those may be hard to come by, maybe they're not out on the market anymore, I don't know. But you can you can look. The another option if you can't find one that you like, and I'll get back to the the size of the container in just a minute. But another option you could use is an old coffee container. So these are plastic as well. You know you just take the lid, and for your paper towels for your because we're using paper towels as our wipes, you would just score an X in here and then shove the uh, the wipes through the top. So there's two lids. You can also go, um, I'm sure on Amazon, because that's where everybody's getting everything, and get a really tall container. So on to that. Okay, so you're gonna use paper towels for your wipes. Now you have multiple options here. You can either get the half sheet of paper towels, you know what I mean? That when you pull the paper towels off the roll, you get a full square, or you just get the rectangle. Now what happens is, if you choose the half sheet, so the half sheet of paper towels, and you cut them, which is what we're going to get to in the, the tutorial, to fit into a container like this, or like this, what happens is when you cut them, your wipe comes out and it's, it's, it's kind of small, okay? If you are like some other people who get the really tall containers, um, I think it's the OXO brand. They have the very tall plastic jugs that you can get that you can pull them out the top. Those would be um, a full sheet. So if you have full sheets of paper towels, they'll come out in a full huge square. And if you use the half sheets, they'll come out in a long half sheet. So though, there's so many options, um, but for what I'm doing today, um, I actually, um, it just depends on who buys the paper towels? Um, sometimes um, just depends on what's in the, in the store, whether we get the half sheets or the full sheets. But this is what I had um, left over because I've already made wipes once. So to get started, you're gonna need your container, your wipes, your cleaner, Thieves cleaner, and two cups of water. Now I also like to add some extra oils in mine, Just that's just me. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your roll, full roll of paper towels and you're gonna cut them in half because I use the half container. If you use the tall one, you'd leave them um, intact. But to cut them in half, it's, it's, it's not as much of a pain as you might think it is. Just use a serrated knife. I use my serrated bread knife and just cut right through it. Um, I actually usually do two rolls at a time so that I have four already cut up. It just saves saves time in the long run. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that, you know, the lid is off of your container, whether it's your Omni container 
for your coffee container, you just take the lid off, put your cut roll right in the container. And you wanna leave that in there for now, that cardboard roll. That's gonna help you to actually um, get your centerpiece out later. You'll see what I mean. So you're gonna need one and a half cups of your thieves cleaner, not cups, I'm sorry, one and a half caps. <laughs> Whew, that could have gotten messy. So just, um, you know, cap, by I mean cap. So one and a half, I just do one in a splash. Like that, just pour it right in the bottom. And then you pour your water on top. Soak it in. And again, like I said, I always add a few extra drops of thieves and lemon just because I like, just because I like using my oils. That's it for now. Put your lid back on, make sure it's nice and tight, and just let it sit for five, 10 minutes or until you remember it. And then once um, it has soaked in, because you're gonna need it to soak in, you're gonna have to tip your container upside down. So once it has soaked in for five or 10 minutes, flip your container upside down. Like I said, if you're like me and you forget about it, no big deal, but after a bit, you're gonna wanna Turn it upside down to let the moisture soak into the top, okay? The top of the roll of the paper towels. Now, I, for sake of the time video, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to do this real quick. So once it's soaked in, everything's nice and wet, then you're gonna pull out that cardboard roll, okay? And the only reason why we do it is so that it doesn't cave in on its own. Yank that bad boy right out, and you grab your paper towel, grab your paper towel from the center, okay? So that's, that's important, grab it from the center. And then you put your lid back on. Again, if you're using the coffee can, you're gonna have an X in the middle and you're gonna wanna pull the paper towels through that. But since I actually have this cool container, hey Lori, thanks for jumping on. Um, I love using these wipes all around the house, especially when my dog has little accidents. And there's your paper towel, there's your wipes. Pull it out and it works great all over the house. We keep this in the bathroom. Um, I like to just do quick you know, touch ups because I really hate cleaning the bathroom. But there you go. So, now what to do if you either ran out of thieves cleaner or you just can't seem to get your hands on it because it's out of stock. So there's a couple of different options. Um, you could make your own thieves cleaning um, liquid for the wipes. You could use Castile soap with your thieves and lemon. Um, I'm not really sure of the ratio. It probably wouldn't be that much thieves of the Castile soap. Um, but there's also a recipe that I have found that only uses um, essential oils. Uh, I think if you look somewhere here in the group, I've already posted that somewhere. But it's like five oils. The properties for them are all, you know, um, great for cleaning, I would say, especially the bathroom. So go ahead and check that recipe out. And there's one more that I've seen people doing. Um, and it falls along the lines of like cleaning spray. But they're using like... Um, they're, they're not using any soap, but they're using like thieves and witch hazel and maybe some lemon in this container. So it's so versatile. Um, and I please don't recommend, like you see all over the internet, using Clorox in this. Don't use Clorox in your house. It's bad for your lungs. Um, but anyway, so, you know, if you um, can't find that recipe for the, just the essential oils, you know, shoot me a message and I will... Um, pull that out of my, I have it actually in a file. I'll send that out to you. But I hope that helps and good luck and happy cleaning. And I will talk to you later. Bye.